Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Just Watched. <laughs> I'm your host, Devin. With me is Billy. Woo! And it's Wayne's World. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else can we say? I mean, bloody Wayne's World. World. <laughs> yeah. So, this is a 90s film, if oh. there ever was a 90s oh, film. Oh, yeah. The ultimate 90s movie. Yeah. So, obviously, newer generations probably have not taken the time to see this. No. I Older mean, generations know too much about it. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> you're pulling a line by line, pretty much. Yeah. And if you can't, you have to go watch it again. Let's go yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But we're, this is going to be a little bit of a different review because we're not going to go through the plot of the movie. No. Uh, basic, simple plot is it's guy runs a TV show out of his basement. Yeah, public big, access show. Public access show. Big corporation comes in and tries to make it a public yeah. thing by taking over their show. Yeah, guy tries to exploit them. Yeah. And they work their way out of it. Yeah. And just, it's a comedy, but sitcom, it's very sitcom Yeah, good point. Yeah. It's like nothing, out, like a few things out of the ordinary like yeah. a sitcom would do. Yeah. But it's all grounded in what is reality. Yeah, no, like, like I really like that. Yeah. Nothing over the top, like I see a lot of newer comedies do. Yeah. Which I appreciate, because this is why I don't like the newer comedies, because they go really over the, the top. top. Yeah, no, that's why, like, modern comedies are always in miss, like, yeah. but you can't beat the classics. You really can't, because the classics don't try to go above and beyond just for a laugh. Yeah. It's a few, it's basically just two guys hanging out. Yeah, like two best friends, like, trying to, like, figure <laughs> out what they're doing with their life. Yeah, uh, like, it's that, when you realize that you don't want to be just another service worker. Yeah. But, what else do you do? Yeah. Like, let's put it this way, like, Rain has an extensive collection of make eggs and hair nets. Yep. <laughs> don't we all? Yeah, I don't know, right? <laughs> And, like, what else to say about this movie? There's oh. so much goodness about this movie. This is a really feel-good movie. Oh my god, yes. Like, And, like, to attest to this, I started this movie, I had, I uh, will admit, I had a slight headache. Yeah. I am feeling great. Oh my god, <laughs> it's just one of those movies that, like, if you have a bad day, okay. throw it on. And it'll, it'll turn it all around. So... Also, it prompted an interesting experiment. <laughs> yes. So I'm probably going to put the link in the description to this picture if I don't cut it into the actual episode. <laughs> Forgive me if I can't. I will try my best. <laughs> but there is a scene where they're in the donut shop and Garb is drinking a donut. Yeah, like one of those like filled, a, a filled donut. I assume jelly filled. Yeah. Could be Boston cream. Mm -hmm. That's what I went with. Yeah. So, so basically, we had the theory. So, we had to, like, go buy a box of donuts. Yeah, we paused the movie, left, like, paused the movie, went immediately to the donut shop, bought a Boston cream, like, a box of Boston cream donuts, <laughs> and I stuck a straw in, and you can actually drink the filling out of a donut. Yeah! <laughs> if you are so inclined. Yeah. It's like, why did, I don't know why Mythbusters never did a... I don't think it would warrant Mythbusters, <laughs> but I'm surprised a lot of people... I haven't heard of a lot of people doing this. No, like... But it's just such a fro scene, I guess, that yeah, you just like, like, ah, okay, I guess he's drinking it out. Yeah, that? like, you never really come, like, a lot yeah. of people do miss that. Yeah. Like, a few people caught it, but like, a lot of people, I don't think, put that to the test. Yeah, he's drinking a donut. What the heck? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, like, it's just Garth being weird, but yeah. like, can you actually do that? Is that <laughs> fl plausible? It is. You end up with a donut husk at the yeah. end, which is a little... Mm. 
But... But to say you maybe do something out of Wayne's World. Yeah, to say I drank a donut because Wayne's World prompted me to. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, like... Like, yeah, I think it's like, I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> like, we went on a road trip for this movie. That's saying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But back on top. Yeah. <laughs> so, the story beats, um, like, how it progresses. It flows very well. Yeah, like, like, there's no, like, gaps or anything. There's, n- like, there's never, like, a really dull period. Yeah, there's never, never like, anything that slows. always, like, good yeah. flow. Good flow. Like, but... And at the same time, there's not a lot of high peaks either. So it's kind of a really flat line movie in that sense. But it more teeters towards highs than highs and mediums yeah. and then instead of really highs and really lows. Yeah. Because, like, they're just always on. Oh, when yeah, no. On screen. They're yeah. always doing some sort of silly antic or in the background doing something yeah. or something else is going on that's catching your eye. Yeah. Because, like I said, this is, like, why this is, like, I think this is the most successful Saturday Night Live movie. Yeah. So I wanted to get into that. So this yeah. was a Saturday Night Live sketch. Yeah, this is the, this would have been the second Saturday Night Live sketch that was adapted to a movie. First was the Blues Brothers. Yep. And this is probably one of the most successful ones. Yeah, well, yeah. I think Wayne's World and the Blues Brothers are the two most successful, and the only ones that had adaptations that did sequels. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing Wayne's World two at some point. Oh, you no, know we have to. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we're required by law. Yeah. <laughs> Contract. Yeah. <laughs> <little bit>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, things you like about the movie. Let's oh, well, get you in here. Like, you, the side characters. The side characters are great. Yeah. There's no side character. I was like, oh, God, not him. No. <laughs> Even Russell, was it? The yeah, the... Underling of... Yeah, Benjamin. the producer. Yeah. <laughs> there. Like, yeah, you know he's like the yes man to the... Yeah. Villain, we'll say. Yeah. Which Rob Lowe, but he plays that a sleazy villain easily. Yes. Like, he's... <laughs> and then just to watch him be converted over to Wayne's side at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the other thing I recommend watching, like, after or before this is the documentary or the interviews. Yeah. Because there's a lot of hidden stuff in there that yeah, like, like I didn't know, but watching it again after I knew, I was like, oh, that um, explains some yes, of the scene. like, fill them in, because I know you mentioned this to me, because I have to try to track down that. Yeah. Wayne's it was a movie. special feature in the Wayne's World DVD collector's pack. Okay. Or a bonus thing. But it was an interview with the cast at, oh. about how Wayne's World progressed. Was it the extreme close-up? I think it might be the extreme. Okay. This... Yeah, I'll have to watch this. Yeah. It is very worth your time. Yeah. Because the one thing that always stayed with me is, um, like, there's a head-banging scene in the car. And they had to redo that scene several times yeah. for various reasons. Yeah. And Mike Myers is just uh, <laughs> being interviewed. He's like, yeah, so there's... Scenes after that where me and Garth are like slowly twisting our heads in pain because we hurt our necks. Yeah. I'm now currently suing them because they've ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if, uh, it's the on the car hood scene before the, the airplane scene. <laughs> Where they're like talking to each other, you can just see them like slowly turn their neck. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell they're in pain. <laughs> Cause, cause, 
Yeah, like going, like going back to the headbanging scene. Yeah. Because when they used Bohemian Rhapsody, that made the song popular again. Yes. Yeah, we did. There's a lot of songs that became popular again yeah. because of this movie. Yeah. That in Ballroom Blitz is yeah. another one that <laughs> I know skyrocketed because oh, yeah. I never heard of it until after Wayne's Because Oh, because fun thing in the Bohemian Rhapsody Queen biopic. Uh, Mike Myers has a cameo as like a fictional record producer. When they're trying to pick Bohemian Rhapsody, he just didn't like the song. He's like, well, I'm like, and Mike Myers' character was like, this is a song that I don't see teens like head, like walking their heads to in a car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's just a perfect. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anything that you don't like about the movie. Like, I don't think... That's the hardest question. Yeah, no, like, I... And I can honestly say, I can't think no. of anything either. I'm like, it's a very simplistic story. Yeah, like... But for a comedy, that's all you need. Yeah, no, you don't have to, like, have this, like, really, like, crazy plot or anything. Yeah. It does hit the same comedy notes, but because it's older, it's... More like those weren't done as much. Yeah, like. But it feels like every movie past it has done the same comedy notes of, oh shit, we're in trouble. Oh shit, let's get the gang together. Oh shit, we gotta go on a road trip yeah. to go somewhere and stop this from happening. Yeah. <laughs> and then time is of the essence. Uh, yeah, like you look like a crunch time factor. Yeah. But done a little bit too much now. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. And so many things that were left out of the movie. <laughs> like the robotic arm, I know in that documentary they mentioned that there's gonna be more to it. Yeah, like and I'm gonna say this, don't quote me on this <laughs> one, but I think it's uh, the original plan was is that Garth builds a Garth bot. <laughs> Which would have been hilarious. It would have been hilarious. And it somehow was supposed to save the day. <laughs> or have some significant role in the climax. Yeah. But do not quote me on that. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen the, doc- or the bonus footage. Yeah. But I do love that scene where... Benjamin's talking to Garf, he's working with the robotic arm there, yeah. and it springs to life, and he just hammers it to death. Yeah, like, just like an obscure scene, but it would have been so much more later on if they could have... D- could have done more with it. I feel like the reason was because the animatronics wasn't couldn't get working properly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's just like, it's like, it's like, it's like, going back, like, like mm, old side there, but like, the, the cop... <laughs> The cop is a good one. Yeah. Like, he just shows up t- three times. Yeah. And yeah, he, he's really happy about doing cavity <laughs> searches. Yeah, no, I was like, yeah, man, come on, he inspected the top of the himself. It's sun and out. <laughs> <laughs> um, the coffee oh, the, shop manager. The oh, my God. <laughs> Glenn, oh, my God, like, for the casting, it was Adam Neal. Yeah. <laughs> and on back the character, they wrote it in, and he appears as a wholesome a Snell. He played a character who was supposed to be Rain and Garth's, like, high school shop teacher. Yeah. And that's what he did, did those, like, really, like... Like, you know, he did, like, <laughs> he's seen some sad, or yeah. he's been in a dark world. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> but he's now out of it, but yeah. he, he'll still recall it. Oh, um, Looks at the best lines like, yeah, I don't do a crazy thing with life before that night. <laughs> so why is it that another man kills another man like he battle it's, it's kinda of real. He kills man like he's a passion. It's called murder. <laughs> like, hello <laughs> <laughs> Also, yeah, let's talk about this. Thank you, Billy. Yeah. The fourth wall break. Oh my god. One of the best <laughs> movies to use the fourth wall break, in my opinion. By far. Like, they do it enough that you feel like you're with them. Yeah. But you're, like, they're not constantly just talking at the camera. Yeah. It's that, like, 
every so often they'd be like, so what do you think about this audience? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah. Like, Gareth was able to do what? Yeah. <laughs> And just props to that cameraman for, like, making you feel like as if someone was actually just there. Oh, yeah. Because I love that scene at the first where, like, they show Gar, like, they're on Garf. Like, yeah. I don't normally have much to say at the... What's that on there? Uh, Camera just quickly looks yeah. at that. Like, uh. <laughs> so, like, and, like, the 90s lingo... The 90s lingo. <laughs> Shaw. <laughs> hey, spew. Spew into this. Like, swing. <laughs> and the words of babe and, and oh, yeah. everything. Like, it really is grounded in the, the 90s. 90s. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> just be aware of that when you're going in. Yeah. <laughs> 90s was a different time, everyone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and. Okay, another bit. Weirdest movie crossover. Yeah, no, interesting. I don't know if it's a crossover or just a cameo. Okay, okay. I'd say cameo. cameo okay. But the We're, Terminator 2 is T-1000. what I... T-1000, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one thing you're not expecting. Yeah. But it's probably the most funniest memos in the movie. I don't find it that memorable. Yeah. I know a lot of people do, but I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That because Terminator 2 came out around yeah. that time, too. So. Which, the fun thing is, I guess, because this is the closest I've the closest ever watching a Terminator movie. Yeah. I've seen this cameo. Basically, the brain gets pulled over by a motorcycle cop. He's like, yes, officer, something wrong? Have you seen this boy? And he shows up, he helps up the picture of John Connor. Yeah. Just, just like, ah! So it's just like, freaks out. Freaks out, Wayne just speeds <laughs> off. <laughs> but sh- I would too! <laughs> I don't blame you on that one. <laughs> Oddly enough, don't blame him. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, no. Like, something like, we would do the exact same thing. Um. Then, this is the one movie that I was like, I don't remember any other movie doing a multiple ending. Yeah. Or do, even if they didn't do it as well as no. Wayne's World. Clue, maybe. Clue? Yeah, I guess I get, can give Clue the props yeah. on that one. But. Oh, man, what's in the Scooby Doo ending? Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. So they throw the focus ending first. Yeah. You, which you're like, wow, that would suck if that's how the movie ended. Yeah. It's like, oh, come on, you wouldn't think she was going to end up with Wayne, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We're not going to spoil each ending, because... Yeah, oh no. I think the endings are actually worth their own Oh, ratings. yes, no. Yeah, but the three endings are the bogus ending, the Scooby-Doo ending, and the super mega happy yeah. ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't like... <laughs> and they put the security guard. So we got them both. Yeah. So, yeah, they run into a security guard that just... Gives a lot of exposition. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, isn't that odd that he had so much information? Yeah. And of course, that information comes into play later. <laughs> yeah. To save the day. It's like, thank God that security guard had so much information. Yeah. Seems like strangers at the time, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and God love that was Chris Farley. Yep. His, his film debut. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> and then. Hanging out with Alice Cooper. Oh my god, yes. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, uh, goes on, Alice Cooper goes on fairly a uh, history buff. Yes. He's <laughs> like, hey, does this guy know how to party? <laughs> <sighs> so, with that though, final thoughts. Oh my. Like I said, it's a movie that, um, man, you can go. Probably one of the movies I quote a lot, like in certain situations. Oh yeah, I mean we've all quoted. <laughs> yeah, I will admit I have quoted this movie a few times yeah. here and there. And as we mentioned, it's a movie. Just if you're in a rough mood or something, yeah. just throw it on. Yeah, 
it will perk you up, I guarantee it. Oh, yeah, no, I mean... And nothing I do that, uh, like, about the, the guitar that Rain buys in the movie, I saw in real life. Yep. I'm a little... <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, Adam. <laughs> I got to play it. <laughs> oh, no. My friend owned the exact same guitar as that. So, oh. he's like, hey, you want to play the guitar from Wayne's World? <laughs> I was like, do I? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I can't play it. No. <laughs> yeah, it's one... Like, when I saw the, uh... Oh, Final Hollywood, it's like, all oh, got by Mike Myers. <laughs> yeah, you saw the uh, actual, actual one. Yeah. <laughs> Which, fair enough. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, walk by, I was like... I was like, hey, what's, this, what's that guitar? I'm like, oh, my God, what... It's the... It's the one from Lay's <laughs> World. <laughs> So, without going on any further, I think we'll end the episode here. Again, I'm Devin. Billy? Dig it? Party on, Billy. <laughs> Party on, Devin. Star Man! Just watch! Just, just watch! <laughs> and we are out. <laughs>